Right, afternoon all. That's the plaster here, in bad light as usual. Right, I've come to this last job before Christmas. Now, a little bit out of breath. Just had to run some boards upstairs. Um, yeah, I'd say 1960s house. This is the bedroom I'm in at the moment. The customer has stripped back all the existing plaster, as you can see. So down to brickwork on the externals. And this blockwork one on the internal wall. Now, scene isn't lava and plastered, but it's had a couple of layers of wood chip on. I don't know if you can make that out. So just best off boarding straight over it and skimming that. And then I'm gonna dot and dab the walls. But like I say, got this room, dot and dab and skim, and then down the stairs. It's pretty much the same, but it's not the same at all. It is the ceiling to do. Once again, board and skim. There's a little threshold there and another ceiling the other side, and it's just an over skim job in here. I say only just an over skim job is this bit of a monstrosity to sort out. Now, I've got board that. I think I'm gonna need more than 12 and a half mil board on that. I might need some 15 mil board just to bring that out because we've got quite a thickness here. Uh, might get away with 12 and a half mil. But again, I'm undecided until I've got that boarded. I don't know whether it's worth just boarding over the whole wall rather than trying to float this bit out to match the existing. But again, time will tell and we'll see once we get the, the board on there. But everything else is pretty straightforward in here. The customer or the electrician, I'm not sure who, has actually done all the bonding and the chases for me, which is uh, helpful. Unless it's sticking out, but it does seem to be quite flush. So, a little scrape back and that will sort that. Anyway, I've come here a few hours early today. I wasn't going to be starting until tomorrow morning, so I want to get ahead a little bit because I'd like to not work the weekend before Christmas. So, so I'm going to go upstairs now and locate with Joyce for the ceiling. I might even start boarding, depending on how I'm doing for time. Um, I've got one kids tonight, so I can't be hanging around too much anyway. That's the job, and now I'm going to go and find both Joyce to start marking out the ceiling. Shut it. It's starting to get dark out there, so it can only mean one thing. <laughs> it's time to go home. Anyway, head start on today. Look, I've got the ceiling boarded. That's ready to go tomorrow. Oh, it's not ready to go. It's got to dot and dab the walls first. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm a good few hours ahead where I wanted to be. Luckily, because I finished the job this morning, it's giving me the time to get over here and, and get a head start, which is uh, always a bonus. Anyway, see you in the morning. Right, day two. Back in the bedroom now, um, everything's dusty as hell. So I've gone around, I've given everything a quick PVA. It's quite a watery PVA just because I don't want to create skin on the bricks and the DC come off. So it's uh, it's very watered down, so I still get that suction and it all adheres to the, the brickwork nicely. Now, I've stuck the head above the window just because I want to be able to sit the plasterboards above the window head on it today so i wanted that going off first thing so that's on there drying that should be ready i've used adhesive foam pseudobond like a bit of this very good all round filling little gaps and sticking boards quickly so uh highly recommend this stuff love it anyway yeah so i've glued all the walls and now i'm just going to go around and dot and dab the walls now i'm still using the six by three boards only because only because I can't get bigger boards in my van. I've only got Transit Connect and I can't fit them on top because I haven't got roof rack on it yet. I've uh, just changed vans, so um, yeah, I'm sticking to the six by three. So I'm gonna go around on two opposite walls and just do the bottom half, where well, as high as the board will reach. And then I'm gonna go and fill the top in afterwards once it's set so that I can tap it level. But yeah. 
needing a bit of uh, coffee energy today, lacking in a bit of fight. <laughs> it's getting to the getting towards Christmas. I'm ready for a few days off. I only got Christmas Day and Boxing Day off actually, and I'm going to come back here next week for a couple of days and start doing a bit in there. Anyway, let's get this down me, get some boards on the wall. Okay, so I've now got the bottom of one, two, three walls all ready to go. So like I said earlier, I'm going to get these all leveled up and then do this wall and the window wall while those walls go off so that I've got a nice level wall just to easily stick the top bit in. Now also here, like I said earlier, I've cut the head and stuck that first thing this morning because I want to rest that plasterboard on the top of that head. So now I've just cut these reveals. So this mix that I do the other boards with, I'm going to stick the reveals so they're going off when I do that wall. They should be dry enough to get a measurement and they're not going to move. Okay, I've only just finished the boarding and you can see behind me a few issues with ceiling lines so I've filled those so lights not very good today. So I've just filled a few minor gaps at the top with that foam. Uh, once that's dry, I'm going to cut it off and uh, scrim it all up, get my water ready, and uh, get ready for skimming in the morning. It's been a bit of a long day <laughs> trying to film and trying to work at the same time. Then I've eaten to your time, so. Um, yeah, to have a rethink of that. Just leave the camera running for longer and stop waffling so much rubbish. Anyway, let's get this set up, ready for a nice day tomorrow, doing three little hits of skimming. Right, what day? It's actually dark outside now, look. So, probably spent about the last hour just getting all my beads up, fixing them in place where they need to be. I've also scrimmed all the joints everywhere, ceiling and walls. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that if it was cold, but this house has actually got central heating on, so it can fall off overnight if you leave it sometimes, but I'm going to gamble. So I've got my stuff ready, got my water filled up, got my drill plugged in, ready to go, my hand tools, hawk and trowel, all at the ready, so I'm good to go for tomorrow. Right, day two over, time for day three. Not a lot of filming done at all today. After so much faffing about this, I uh, decided to just crack on with it today. But as you can see, everything is now all skimmed up. So I spent the day doing three sets today. I've been doing, which tends to knock off a couple of hours off your day. I've been chucking a couple of handfuls or a good few handfuls of the multi finished fast set into um, each mix that I've been doing and that tends to send it off within a couple of hours rather than like three hours for a set. So I started around eight o'clock today and it's now just gone three. I managed to get three sets in. I, to be honest, I haven't stopped. Uh, I've just been eating on the go today. But I've been doing one, the first set was a bag and a half, which is what the ceiling took. My second set, I did this window wall and that door wall down to the corner. And then the last set has just been that remaining wall and then around the old chimney breast and the wall joining the window wall. So that's it for today. So two and a half days has taken me to board this all out and skim it, plus get all my stuff up and 
find the joists, you know, whatever, get my water and labour for myself. So pretty pleased with that. Um, I'd allowed three days for it, so I'm half a day ahead, uh, which means tomorrow I'm going to get downstairs and start tacking the ceiling. Now, the wall I've discussed earlier, uh, where it's all different levels, I decided I'd put a board of 12.5mm board up there today and it looks like it comes flush but I'm still going to dot and dab over the whole wall I think just so I've got, God, my hair's a bit funky today isn't it? Um, just so I've got consistency and the same suction throughout the whole wall because if I start doing, if I bond out the bottom and board the right hand side it means I've got three different suctions there, I've got the over skim, the board work and then the bonding as well, which will be nasty. So if I've just got one suction of all board work, happy days. Anyway, that's enough for the waffle in for day two, day three tomorrow. <laughs> Next day. Now, I want to get off as quick as possible today. It's the Friday before Christmas. So I spent a few hours tacking these two ceilings. Now this part I'm in, it must have been an extension or an add-on at some point. So a little bit behind me there, I've got some boards cut ready to bring out this bulkhead so it all meets up in line. It was very, well, there's about 15 mil difference. So I'm gonna sort that out. Sorry, dodgy camera work. And this wall, the one I was talking about. So we were gonna have the three different suctions, so the over skim, hard wall or bonding, whatever I was gonna do there, and plasterboard. So I've tacked that on there, that's nine mil board. So what I'm gonna do now is just dot and dab over that whole wall so that it's just one consistent background to skim on. It'll make life a lot easier. Anyway, I'm gonna get that stuck now, and then that is it for Christmas. And then I've come back here in between Christmas and New Year and just to finish the skimming. We've got a few days, a few days worth of skimming there uh, to get it all done and dusted. But anyway, let's get that wall stuck. I'm gonna have a nice tidy up because I think the customers are moving bits. They're not moved in yet, so they're gonna be moving bits and bobs in and out over the Christmas period. So I'm gonna get my stuff tidied into a corner and just out of their way a bit. But yeah, it's going nice. I like this job. Quite a nice one to finish off the year. Oh look, I've got a halo. <laughs> Angelic, or angelic, however you want to say it. Right, let's get this wall stuck. And you can see how tight here, I'm literally going right back to the existing wall so that's where i'm taking my level off so hopefully the wall's level when we give it a little tap but let's get the other boards on and have a look right because i know this is the wall here the original wall that i wanted to get to i'm going to just give it a tap, tap in here That there should be somewhere near, which it is. Okay, so I don't have to do too much work with this board. It's all good straight. Nice and level all the way up. So now I've got this one level, so that bit is a bit thicker there, so I can just bring the level straight across. Hand. All the way across. Should have a pretty straight flat wall there, which looks good. Alright, so now it's all levelled off straight. I just want to make sure, spend a little bit of time 
on the corners and the skirting lines and the seat edges. Now, seat and line is a bit trickier to get to at this level. I think it's going to get a four foot one to get in there, but skirting boards, all good here. And all good there. So, that's that done. Need to get the corner dot and dab now. I'm going to tidy up for the day. I don't even know what day it is or anything. We're at that funny time in between Christmas and New Year. So I've literally just come in for the odd day in between here and there and uh, skimmed the ceiling, done a couple of little sets yesterday. No, not even two sets. Yeah, I did two sets yesterday, two little one and a half bag sets, which just left me a bag and a half set to finish off today. So as you can see behind me, this is what I've just finished off this morning all the way around to that little return there. And 
was yesterday's, so where I straightened up that bulkhead to meet up. And there's the rest of it drying off quite nicely, actually. Well, we're talking of drying off quite nicely. I'm going to show you upstairs as well. I've just got to take my shoes off because I've actually just spent the last 15 minutes tidying up and hoovering the stairs. So, let's take my shoes off. I won't go all the way in because I'm going to get dusty feet again. But, as you can see, all drying out nice. Still got a few of the dab marks drying out over that way, but this one, first of all I did, pretty much dry. Still a little bit of wetness over there. Anyway, that's the last one for the year, and uh, it's lunchtime, so I'm gonna get myself home and uh, enjoy the new year. Anyway, thank you for watching this one. See you again, 2024. <laughs> Bye.